Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Chelsea, and for another Vita 2 video, we are starting to look, we're in the final days. We're gonna look back. I wanna just, just show you some books that I wish I'd read in the month of August. Now, I don't actually think I've had the best reading month as of filming this right now. We're gonna have a quick look because I don't think I have. I feel as though I've not read many books at all. How many books have I read this month? I've read four books this month. And of those four... <laughs> oh dear. I feel like an absolute failure. Of those four... Oh no, okay, so two were traditionally published and two were indies. So far, we still have some time this month, so we'll we'll see what else we get to. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of a debrief, really, about the books that I've read. I'm gonna actually do like a whole Vida Two review video. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I don't expect it to be massively long, um, but that's gonna be more like looking at personally Vida Two and that sort of thing. Will I ever do it again? Today, I just wish. <laughs> that I had time to read more. So there are so many fantastic indie authors. If you have seen any of my previous content um, this month, a lot of it is about indie authors. The playlist is always linked down below. Go check it out if you want to see more information about indie books that I have spoken about this month. Some I own, some I don't. I have done a haul and there is a big indie section and some like, a part, I've got a massive pile of books that indie authors have sent me to to review physically which is baffling to me and I thank you once again from the bottom of my heart if you have ever sent me your book to read I I will read it if I haven't and I will give you a review and everything I feel a bit of a crossover I feel as though and I'll probably end up saying this again for for the wrap-up video I feel as though Vida 2 has really impacted my reading. I don't know if it was a good idea to film 31 videos and try and read physically as well because most of my nights I've been editing. Um, and I've got a whole heap of books here that I wish I read, four of which were featured in my Come Book Shopping video with me, which are, oh gosh, A Touch of Light by Diego Abdullah, um, Shadows of Ivory, this looks fantastic. Uh, Burn Red Skies and The Fangs of War. I have actually got an arc of the next book or the novella in this series coming soon. So I will be cracking on with that very, very soon. But I've got all of them. Um, I've also got books that I have started like Season of Kings. I am midway through. The Exile by Ryan Carhill because I'm almost very, very almost up to date. Um, Zeroed Out by Jacob Markoff. So many fantastic indie books that I wish I had read. <laughs> And I feel bad that I haven't managed to read as much this month, but I've kind of done it to myself, I think. And I think once I'm not videoing myself and putting stuff up every single day, my mojo will come back. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to highlight that I'm, I, I haven't read that much indie work, but I haven't actually read that much of anything um, this month, really. And that's okay <laughs> i think um but i do want to obviously open this conversation up like i want this to be interactive so 100 percent let me know down below what indie authors have you loved have you found anyone new this month have i introduced you to anyone new that you might not have heard of before have i added to your tbi i really really hope i have um if you are an indie author like reach out to me with your book and I may review it, I may not. I try to be very, very honest with when I can take on more reviews of books if people ask um, me to review by a specific date. I try to be very honest um, and try and like work my time frames to obviously fit you guys as well. But if you just want like help boosting your books, like let me know because I will 100%, not every book is gonna be for me. I have got a thread on my Twitter, which I think is still my pinned tweet, with hundreds of books from fantastic indie authors listed on there and hundreds of recommendations as well from other people of indie authors that they have loved and 
definitely go and check that out. If you want some inspiration, there are books on there I will never read, but that's not only because I won't have the time to read them all, but also because some of them aren't are just not for me. I constantly say I'm not a massive romance reader and there are some romance books on there and there are um, some other books that might not necessarily sound like something I would enjoy, but I love the fact that I've got that pinned and people keep actually sporadically liking it and retweeting it still, which is quite cool. And I love trying to show people new indie authors. Um, I mean, other books, like, I've, I've, I have started these two, this is Seasons of Kings and this is Zeroed Out. This is a sci-fi, this is a very grimdark fantasy, both are phenomenal and obviously I just need to finish them, which is a common phrase for me, but... I wish I had managed to finish these before I'd filmed this video, that would have been really cool, I would have absolutely adored that. Um, I have got books on here that I haven't read yet but that's not actually because I failed, that's because they don't need reviewing until a little a little bit later. But like um, The Legend of Blackjack by A.R. Witham, Andy's a fantastic human, um, The Trials of Ashmount by John, John is also a fantastic human. Andy is now in charge of the SFF Oasis Discord, which again is always linked down below. Make sure you check it out. He recently did an interview with Zach Argyle, who has just completed his series. I actually have the arc sat like right in front of me here. Bonds of Chaos, this series is one, it probably 100% actually, it's got to be my favourite series of the year. Love this. This is so cool. Um, but yeah, and John is a fantastic human. Like, we have. We, we chat on Twitter all the time. I love when authors, especially indie authors, are present in the community and they chat and they give you a bit of give and take. That is so much fun. And then they have these. Uh, this one kind of doesn't count because I literally received this today. This is by Ruben J. Eckhart and I won a D&D t-shirt giveaway and he asked if I wanted to have a copy of his book as well and I said yes, of course. Um, so I've, I've got this. So th this one... I only re received today, but then I've also got these, which I am due to review shortly. So, so Seasons of Al Albadon, the Eighth Chant series, and then the Old Universe. I mean, this cover is phenomenal. It doesn't really show as well with the banner, but these are actually like massive godlike character things. Really cool. And then books that I am yet to read and review, but that's fine because they're planned to be read start of September. One is definitely this. This is Sword of Mercy and Wrath by N.C. Kelsis. So this is coming out I think on the 16th of September so I will be reading this before that comes out. And then Baden Hill, obviously. This is a sequel to Girzle and I absolutely adore Girzle. Um, and again, I don't feel bad about not reading these yet because I've got plans for the start of September with these two books specifically. So that's pretty cool but like, obviously that's pretty much all of my most recent indie collection with me telling you their books that I wish I'd read this month. I wish I'd read every indie book this month, if I'm completely honest. And this video is more of a babble than anything massively informative, but I feel like these last couple of videos, I, I, I wanted that. I wanted the babble. I kind of wanted to be like, well, if, if you're like me and you've made yourself so busy that you haven't really read a lot of indies in Indie August, that's completely fine. We do that to ourselves. If anyone is like me, I apparently I am very chaotic um, and I decided this kind of on a whim that I was going to do a month load of videos um, on a month of which I wish it, I wish it, that's not English, I wish to support indie authors but I'm still supporting indie authors, I still shout about them and everything like that. So just because you don't necessarily read them in the specific month of which you planned to read things doesn't mean anything bad. And I'm saying this as well to me for when I'm editing this back and I have to rewatch it because I am someone who will make all these plans and beat myself up if things don't go exactly how I want and I do not have the time to read film and edit and upload all within a month with a very busy job that I have but it's okay <laughs> and I don't really know what the point of this video is I kind of I don't know I just wanted to, to speak to you about indie authors that I wish I'd read this month and I've I'm hoping that I'm gonna crack through majority of these before the end of the year Obviously, I've got ones that have got deadlines on, but that's fine. But like the rest of them, I really want to crack through before the end of the year because that'd be so cool. And then I can do like more indie content at the end of the year, like wrapping it all up. And I won't have such a small pool of books to pick from because I feel like last year when I started discovering indie authors, 
I loved everything I read, but my pool was very small because I, I was talking about the same books. And now I have a wide array of things that I can talk about, and, and that's the best thing. And I've met some fantastic fast what? And I've met some fantastic people as well this month, um, authors included, and doing this and interacting with my content. And all I can say is thank you so much again. If you're an author, and you've sent me a one of your if you've sent me your book, like thank you so much. I don't know what I've done to deserve this, but thank you. Like I really appreciate it, and I do not take it for granted at all. Um, and I will shout about your works as I'm reading them, while, as I'm reading them, when I've read them, constantly. I try and be very active in the indie community if I can, and I, I love it. This is one of, this is the best thing about my channel, I think. Um, and my book community corner that I've built is, is the indie authors and stuff, and the people that I've met as well, but... I never thought, like, even last year when I started reading indie books and had the odd person reach out to me I never thought that I'd get like 300 plus replies to a tweet about indie authors recommending me their work and so many retweets and likes and you know that sort of thing it's a bit surreal <laughs> I'm honest but I'm gonna stop babbling that is everything for today's video I hope you've enjoyed it um again I don't really know what the point was but just me listing books that I wish I'd read this month and I haven't but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna read them so if you did enjoy it please give it a like really supports me and my channel leave me a comment down below of an indie author you have discovered this month whether you've discovered them through me or through other indie content or just something that you've stumbled upon let me know and if you just want to leave me an emoji leave me a pen emoji for authors or a, is there a typewriter or like a keyboard kind of thing any of them that would be really cool and if you want to see more of me i've only got a couple of videos left i think of vida 2 guys we're almost there and we hit 1k subscribers if i've mentioned this in every video since that's happened like just I, I just can't fathom it, really. Um, it's really cool. But yeah, um, if you want to see more of me, please consider subscribing down below and ringing that notification bell to get notified every single time I upload new content. I am still uploading every day in the month of August. I believe this video is going up when I have got two left, so that is scarily cool. Um, so make sure you stick around. But after that, I will be going back to my regular uploads, which are Wednesdays and Sundays. So be sure to stick around for more bookish content from me. But otherwise, that is everything for today's video. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.